Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay, good evening. Thank you. Good evening. Yes. Can you hear me well? Hi. 
Hello. No. me escuchan bien. Eh, no. no, se oye bastante bajo. Ok, I think now. <laughs> ok, good evening guys, thank you. Thank you, Sandra. Ok, welcome to the class. It's raining, right? It's raining very hard today. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Okay, I hope that we don't have problems during the class, okay? <laughs> well, welcome to the class number two. Today, we are going to continue with the topic of adverbs before adjectives. We are going to have more exercises and also you're going to learn about conjunctions. Mm -hmm. In a moment, you will see the PowerPoint presentation. Conjunctions and bad, however, and though that is the topic for today's class, I need two volunteers to read the lessons objectives. Who can read the lesson objectives? Geraldine, please. Yeah. In this class, participants will be learn the uses of Albert before adjectives. In this lesson, participants will now identify and use conjunction such as and but, so, and and however. Thank you, Yerali. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yes, so you will learn about that. So let's see. We have recalling previous knowledge, conjunctions, conversation time, and wrap up. So let's start with recalling previous knowledge. In the previous class, we learned about adverbs before adjectives. What adverbs do you remember? Do you remember some adjectives? Some adverbs before adjectives? I cannot hear you guys. Maybe I it's like having problems with the internet. Good evening, Anna. Can you repeat what you said? Because I didn't listen. Okay, well, really, yes. Very good, Stephanie. Very pretty. Fairly and two. Nice. Yes, I think we are having problems with the with the internet. I, I'm gonna change the the internet connection. Okay. So we are going, let's see guys in the next um, exercise, some of these uh, adverbs or intensifiers. We can see some examples like very happy, so sad, absolutely amazing, too hard, totally useless and really expensive. We are going to match the pictures with the adverbs. Very good. Okay, for example, what is this? What is this? So sad? Very happy. Oh, very happy. happy. Yes, very happy. Very okay. Happy. What about this one? 
really expensive. Really expensive, yes. That's a really expensive car. Okay. What about it's the the sunset? Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. amazing. <laughs> okay. You have to keep there. Okay, then we have the baby. So sad. Yeah. Baby so, so sad. sad. Okay, and what about this? Totally useless. Use totally useless, right? Totally useless. Too hard. Too hard. Too hard. Too hard. Too hard. Yes. So we can describe the pictures, right? The baby is so sad. He is very happy. That car is really expensive. That picture is totally useless. And it's too hard to move a rock, right? In a mountain. <laughs> okay, so we practice some of the excellent, some of the intensifiers or adverbs before adjectives. Okay, so we can see here, guys, uh, some of the structure, I don't know if you can see. I think I'm not sure. Okay. When we use them, remember the structure, subject, the verb to be. Um, could be an article or not, adverb, adjective, and what the subject is. We can see different examples. Punta Cana is beautiful. But if you use an adverb or an identifier, we say Punta Cana is very beautiful. Or we can say Punta Cana is a, I use an article, a very beautiful city. So I'm using, in this case, city. That's why I'm using an article here because I'm saying, or oh, I'm using a noun. Now, another example, Mexico is dangerous. Mexico is somewhat dangerous. Mexico is a somewhat dangerous country. Another example, Rex is noisy. Rex is pretty noisy. And Rex is a pretty noisy dog. Okay, so we, we can I use the, inten the intensifier before the adjective. We can use other intensifiers like to, extremely, very, which is the same as really, pretty, and fairly, which is the same as somewhat. Well, fairly actually is the opposite. Okay. So let's go to the next slide. In this slide, we have some exercises and we have to choose the correct intensifier or adverb according to the picture. For example, what can you use for the soup? Two. Really hot? Two. Okay. Um, yeah, we can <laughs> we can use two very hot, really hot, pretty hot, or extremely hot. Okay. We can use all those identifi identifiers. Okay, what about the number two? They are pretty. Okay, we can use pretty or very, right? They are pretty mm -hmm. good friends. Okay, number three today is? Very. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, I would use really. Today is really nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, the next lions are? Extremely. 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 Extremely, <laughs> extremely dangerous because they can eat you. 
extremely dangerous. Okay, my sister is really sick. Pretty very sick. sick or very sick, right? Or pretty sick. Uh, sometimes money is too hard. Too, too hard. hard, yes. And this is true, right? Sometimes money is too hard to get. Right? Especially nowadays. Beans and rice are expensive. Okay, the students are? Very hard working. Very good. Okay, so you see it's not difficult. It's not that difficult. It's easy, it's a piece of cake. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. <laughs> now choose the best intensifier for each sentence. Number one. Um, though she is very beautiful, her behaviors mm -hmm. make her unattractive. So though she is she is very or really. Okay. Pretty. Or pretty. Mm -hmm. Okay, so though she's pretty beautiful or really beautiful, no, her behavior. Really beautiful. Really. 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 Oh, oh very. She, okay, though she's pretty beautiful, her behaviors make her unattractive. Number two, you need to stop drinking coffee because it is. You need to stop drinking coffee, teacher. Extremely. 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 But I don't want to. Extremely. Extremely addictive. <laughs> okay, because it is extremely addictive or quite addictive. Okay, let's see number three. My brother speaks English. Very well. Very well, yes. Very well. My students speak English very well. It's and true. number four. <laughs> number four. It's too hard. It's too hard, yes, because two has a negative connotation. So it's too hard to go out today. Actually, it's too rainy, too wet to go out tonight, right? Because it's raining uh, rats and frogs. <laughs> oh, it's, rain it's raining cats and dogs. Thank cats and dogs. It's raining cats and dogs. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Ah, we still have more. Let's see hmm, number five. He's very. He's smart. He is very, very smart. Very smart. He's very smart. Okay. It was. Extremely. Extremely. Mm, what about absolutely? absolutely. It was absolutely. absolutely, absolutely an incredible movie. Mm -hmm. Okay, number seven, it was a? So great. It was a cute. Completely. <laughs> okay, completely. Oh. This, the pronunciation of this is quite, quite. Right. Uh -huh. It was a completely great experience to go hiking in the mountain. Okay, number eight. Barcelona is an expensive hotel, but Radisson San Jose is? A little. A little. More expensive. 
it's a much expensive. It's a much more, a much more, more expensive, expensive a, much a much more expensive hotel than Barcelona. Remember that in this case, the intensifiers or the adverbs gives more emphasis, emphasize, right? Much. Okay. So much more expensive. Much. And a lion is a little. More dangerous Friendly. animal than a hyena. Hyena. Extremely. 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 I would I would use quite. A lion is quite more, quite more dangerous animal than a hyena. Okay, a quite more dangerous. Hot more dangerous animal. Okay, very good. Now, guys, we it's time to do some exercise on your own. Mm -hmm. You have in this exercise, you're going to write a sentence describing a person, describing a place, and describing an object. In the three sentences, you have to use the structure subject, verb to be, Albert an adjective. So remember to use the adverbs or the intensifiers really, too, pretty, quite. I will write them over here so you can remember them. What others do you remember? Extremely, Extreme. really, pretty, Very. somewhat, Fairly, fairly, two, 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 I'm going to take the attendance. So please say present or here when I mention your name. Okay. Um, Aleida Samira Guadalupe. Absent. Ana Beatriz Martinez. Hi, Tisha. Okay, good evening. <laughs> Andrea Esther Acosta. Here, Miss. Okay, Andrea, thank you. Brandon Steven Gomez. Uh, present. Okay, thank you, Brandon. Caleb Ariel Rivera. Present. Thank you, Caleb. Efraín Emilio Acevedo. Oh, present. He says present. <laughs> He's in the traffic. Yeah, it's it's ah, extremely terrible traffic today. Geraldine Lisset Villera. Present. Thank you, Geraldine. Hebel Virginia Tovar. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. What is the pronunciation of your first name? My first name pronunciation Hebel. Hebel, okay, so it's correct, Hebel. Yeah. Ingrid Maricela yeah. Flores. Here, teacher. Eh, Irma Adriana Segura Araujo. Present, teacher. Thank you, Irma. Jacqueline Vanessa Garcia Sánchez. Jacqueline Vanessa. Absent. José Alejandro Vaquerano Sánchez. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan David Madrid. Present teacher. Thank you. Remember, guys, to make the sentences. In this moment, you are working in creating the sentences. Describe a person, describe a place, describe an object. Okay, I'm taking the attendance, but you must be working. Um, Juan Jose Garcia Mendez. I'm here. Thank you, Juan. Julio César Alfaro Bonilla. Presente, dije. 
<laughs> okay. Did I mention Juan David Madrid? Yes. Okay, yes. <laughs> thank you. Kevin Josias Flores. Present. Thank you. Lorena de Los Angeles Menjiva. Present teacher. Thank you, Lorena. Luis Ernesto Cibrián Montoya. Present teacher. Thank you, Luis. María José Najarro Menjiva. Iba a estar de oyente, teacher. Creo que vivían en el bus todavía. Ok, thank you, Lorena. Mary Daniela Carranza. Present teacher. Thank you, Mary. Um, Milagro de la Paz Jiménez. I'm here, Miss. Thank you, Milagro. Mirna Janet Landos de Luna. Mirna Janet. Nelson Adán Cerón. Present teacher. Thank you, Nelson. Patricia Esmeralda García Funes. Present. Sandra Elizabeth Asensio González. Sandra Asensio. Sandra Elizabeth Coreas Quintanilla. Present. Thank you, Sandra Elizabeth. Sandra Elizabeth Rivas Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you, Sandra Rivas. Sandra Lizette Moza de Polanco. Present teacher. Thank you, Sandra Moza. Stephanie Vigail Quintanilla Valladares. I'm here. Thank you, Stephanie. Valeria del Carmen Alfaro Beltranena. Present teacher. Thank you, Valeria. Wow, it's the first time I see that last name, Beltranena. What is your last name from? Valeria. ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo dijo? It's the first time I listen to that last name, Beltranena. Where is Beltranena, Beltranena from? Beltranena. Mm -hmm. Is it from El Salvador or is it from another country? Beltranena. El Salvador. Oh, really? And where do, you, where do you live? Where are you from? In Sonsonate. Sonsonate. Ah, okay. Yes. Good. So it's not very common in San Salvador. <laughs> okay. Did you finish your sentence? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. I would like you to share your sentences. Let's start with describing a person. Would you like to share your examples? Juan Jose? Right. Uh, good evening, everyone. My example is Juan Garcia is very extreme. Uh, Salvador del Mundo is really good for practice skateboard. The car is really fast. Okay, thank you. Very good, Juan Jose. Milagro shares her sentences in the chat. She's a very smart teacher. Working in a factory is too hard. And buying books are extremely important if you are studying. Okay, in that case, Milagro is buying books is extremely is. Okay. Because buying is, okay. is an action, one activity. Buying books okay. is. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Very good examples. Any other person? Let's see, Jose Alejandro. Okay, my sister is extremely careful with her child. Place? In San Vicente, it's too hot. Oh, wow. Um, an object my, or? Mm -hmm. My cell phone. It's somewhat slow. Oh, I'm sorry for that. You should buy a new one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Jose. Stephanie? Okay. Jefferson is really friendly. 
This sugar is extremely small and the toys are somewhat noisy. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Somebody else? Let's see who else. Okay, in the chat we have Geraldine. My best friend is fairly short. <laughs> My roommate is very noisy. I'm sorry for that. Me, teacher. Anna? Know. Okay, Anna. Okay. Uh, my father is very smart. Uh, so, yeah, Pangu City is uh, extremely stressful. It's stressful. Um. The smartphone is a really necessary. Can you repeat? The smartphone uh -huh. is a really necessary. Very nice, thank you. Okay. And we have more here in the chat. It says, she's very pretty, this pencil is ugly. Well, Sandra, you are missing the, the antenna, the other. San Miguel is very hot, okay. Very good. Okay, thank you so much for uh, sharing your examples. Good job. Okay, now guys, we are going to learn about another topic. This is about conjunctions. Let's look at this example. It says, I love them, but they are too expensive. You should buy them though. You look amazing. Uh, however, I should save up. So we have one sentence, but with different reactions, and we are using different conjunctions. Can you identify the conjunction in this sentence? But they are too expensive. What is the conjunction? This why I enjoy the, the word. Oh. Yes, conjunctions, they join two sentences, exactly. They link, they link two ideas. So for example, I love these shorts, but they are too expensive. So what is the conjunction in this sentence? But. But, yes. Okay, I love them. You should buy them though. What is the conjunction here? No. 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 And in the last, however, I should save up. Uh, however. however. However, exactly. Okay, let's learn a little bit more about these words. Let's look at these examples. It's an, amazing, it's an exciting city and the weather is nice. Just me, teacher. Is okay. no entra dentro de estas, dentro de estas condicionantes? Uh, can if, you repeat? I, I didn't listen well. Uh, if no entra dentro de estas condicionantes? Is. Is. No. 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 Is is the verb. The verb, right? The verb is. <laughs> EF, EF. Yes, no. Only these ones. And, but, though, however, and so. We can also use so, but we don't have examples with so here. Okay, so it's a big city, but it's not too big. It's a big city. It's not too big, though. It's a big city. It's not too big, however. So we use N to add more information. It's an exciting city and the weather is nice. So two things, right? We are adding more information. Exciting and nice. But we use it to contrast to contrast the information. 
It's a big city, but it's not too big. So in this case, it's big, but not too big. But it's a word to express contrast. Though contrast to ideas or the statements, the difference is that it's placed at the end of the second sentence. As you can notice this, we have one sentence, one sentence period, the second sentence comma, and we use though at the end of the second sentence. It's a big city. It's not too big though. It's also to contrast two ideas. However, connect two sentences and also show contrast. And it's followed by the comma. Okay, in this case, it's a big city. It's not too big, however. It can be, in this case, it's placed at the end, but it can also be placed in the middle. It's a big city. However, it's not too big. So, however, it cannot be placed in the middle. Okay. Let's go over the next slide. Can I, can I pass to the next one? Yes, miss. Okay. Teacher, you mean? Yes. Can you repeat please uh, in Spanish? Mm -hmm. Well, I should explain, I should teach the class in English totally, but I can, I can give you a help with in Spanish, okay. And? What do you think it means? ¿Qué crees que significa en? Y. Y, ajá. Uh -huh. mm. But? Pero. 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 Okay. Exactly. Now, there is not a word in Spanish for though. There is not a translation in Spanish. Okay. 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 Even though. <laughs> Even though is aunque. <laughs> But the way it's used in English, oh, guys, I'm sorry, that is, I need to silence. Okay, there was someone crying. Okay, so um, there is not a exactly word translated in Spanish for though, but you understand the idea, right? You understand the idea. It's a big city. It's not too big, though, if because you, if you go if you go to the translate, uh, the meaning is uh, aunque mm -hmm. in Spanish. Yes, mm -hmm. it's correct. But that is not like at a. But as few notice, though, here is is placed at the end of the sentence, and we don't say, we don't say es una ciudad grande. Es, no es muy grande, aunque we don't say it like that, right? We say, es una ciudad grande, aunque no es muy grande. Okay, so that is just, uh, just to keep in mind that in English, the place of though is at the end of the sentence. And however, como sin sea. embargo, sin embargo, como sea, okay, very good. Now, in the next slide, we have more examples of using however. My friends wanted to go outside. However, it's raining. So if you notice, we have one sentence, period, however, comma, it is raining, the second sentence. However, it is in the middle. Another mm -hmm. way, I don't like him. However, I agree that he's a good manager. In this case, we have a comma before however, and however is in the middle, and it's correct. I really enjoy that movie. However, I prefer the book. Okay, so as I was telling you, we can use however in the middle between the two sentences. And also we can use them at the end. At the end of a sentence, at the end of a sentence as we had in the previous example. Okay, let's go to the next. Yes, Nelson? Hi, teacher. Hi, Nelson. Excuse me. Uh, 
want a question, teacher? Yes. Okay. The words, the words, hot weather. It, it's uh, only the, the place. Bueno, lo que quiero decir es que el, la palabra hot weather la puedo utilizar solo en el contexto de lugares o también como puede ser lo puedo utilizar como para también como responderle a alguien para me está preguntando algo que no sea lugar yes of course yes mm -hmm. okay gracias Juan José okay one question uh, también podríamos usar anyway o no para como sea Mm, ok, let's anyway, try. Que no es después de todo. Yeah, no. I think I think it, it's not possible in this in this case as a conjunction. No. Ok, ok. Mm -hmm. Anyways, it's like you are giving another idea. Uh -huh. And however, it is like you have one opinion or one idea and you show like a contrast or opposite idea. Like in this case, my friends wanted to go outside. However, it's raining. You can replace however with but, right? It's a similar meaning. My friends wanted to go outside, but it's raining. They can't, they can't go, right? Oh, I don't like him, but I agree that he's a good manager. I don't like him, but he is a good manager. Or I enjoy that movie, but I prefer the book. So you can replace however with but, but not with anyways. Okay. That's okay, thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Let's, Milagro? What is not clear to me, teacher, is how to know what I have to put a comma. Okay. Where, mm -hmm. where to place it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, if X in the first example, we have a of the first sentence, a period, however, and comma. So in this mm -hmm. case, you place the comma after however, because it's at the beginning mm -hmm. of the second sentence. Mm -hmm. You if uh like in the second example, I don't like him, comma, however, in in this case, because we have the first idea, we pause, and then we, it's in the middle, right? It's in the middle. There, it, there is no period. Uh -huh. There's no period, just uh -huh. a comma before, however, and not a comma after. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. um, let's see. Let's, now let's uh, look at the use of though. As I told you, that is not like an exact, exact word in Spanish, right? Because the they use is different in English. So that's why you have to think in English, okay? Though it's sunny, it's not so warm. So though here is used at the beginning of the sentence. And yes, it can be used at the beginning. But you can also use it at the end, and it's more common to use at the end. It's sunny, period. It's not so warm though. Okay. Um, and we have another example with but. She listened to me, but she didn't understand it. I stay at home, but my wife went to the party. We went out for dinner, but the kids were noisy, so we came home early. Okay, so this is the use of but. So we had though and but, however. And and is easy, right? It's very easy to use when we add more information. So, um, are you ready to practice?
Maybe. No, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm looking. Yeah, I have some exercise here. Um, just give me a moment because I'm going to share it with you. In the ex um in the exercise you will see that it's not that difficult. And you have these exercise, you have some exercises using these conjunctions in the platform. Okay, so choose the correct conjunctions and rewrite the sentences. You have to choose what is the, the correct conjunctions in this in these exercises. Kyoto is very nice. Everyone is extremely friendly. So you can, what is the best conjunction or the or the most appropriate, in or bad? In. And. Why? Because all the, the, the two ideas are positive, maybe. Very good. It's just adding more information. We are not contrasting ideas. They are just adding more information. So Kyoto is very nice. Because, why? It's like saying because, right? Kyoto is very nice and everyone is extremely friendly. <coughs> I think the format is to be okay. Very nice. Number two, the streets are crowded during the day. They are very quiet at night. And we have two options, and and though. And. Though. Oh, teacher. Though. Though. Why? Though. There is a contrast of the ideas. Exactly. Two different ideas about the same thing, right? The streets are crowded during the day, uh, though they are very quiet at night, or they are very quiet at night, though. Mm -hmm. So we are going to write these sentences. The streets are crowded during the day. Period, uh, period. Uh huh. And then? No. I can use though at the beginning mm -hmm. or I can use though at the end. What do you prefer? At the end. At the end. Oh, at the okay. end. They're, they're very quiet at night. Coma. Though, okay. Now next, the weather is nice. Summers get pretty hot. And however. However. Como diría, how would you say the sentence? The weather is nice. Summer get no. Okay, the weather is nice. Period or, com or coma? Period. 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 Okay, the weather is nice. However, However. coma. No. Coma. Summers. No. Okay, the weather is nice. Uh huh. Thirty. Uh huh. However, coma. Summers. Summers get pretty uh, hot. Get pretty hot. Uh, number four. You can rent a bicycle. It's expensive. You can rent a bike, but it's expensive. Exactly, very nice. 
you can go to downtown San Salvador, you can rain, rent a bicycle, coma, but it's very expensive. It's like $5 one hour. And the other one. It's an amazing city. I love to go there. And in. Exactly. It's an amazing, an amazing city, Coma. And I love to go there because I'm just adding more information. Very good. So as you can see, it's not so difficult to use the conjunctions. Very I nice. I prefer to use the conjunction in the middle. <laughs> mm. Good. Yeah, when you speak, you can use the way, the way you want. Okay, we are going to do the other activity uh, that is this. Describe three cities or towns in your country. Stay two positive features and one negative feature for each. And we have an example. Singapore is very exciting and there are a lot of things to do, but it's too expensive. Uh, the weather in Bogota is another way. So you will describe cities or towns in El Salvador. You have to say positive, two positive features and one negative for each. So that is the activity. In this moment, you have around eight minutes. And I think it's too much, but it's enough to describe three cities or towns, okay? You can um, share your sentences in the chat. I will place it in the presentation. Give me a moment, please. Okay, Jacqueline, Vanessa, you just joined the class. Somebody else that had just joined the class? Only Jacqueline. Me, teacher. Oh, but I took your attendance already. Uh -huh. I had your attendance, Ana Beatriz. Okay, <clears throat> somebody else? No? This is for the attendance. Let me know that you are in the class, okay? Very good. So let's work, guys, with this uh, in this exercise, and don't forget uh, to use the conjunctions. You can uh, share your work in the chat, or you can open your microphone and say, express your ideas. You can use but. And however, or though.
Okay, we have two messages. El tunco is really beautiful and colorful and have uh, many things to do. Okay, Geraldine, very good. Just try to specify that el tunco is a beach because <laughs> we can think that el tunco is an animal or is, I don't know. <laughs> So, <laughs> El Tunco Beach, El Tunco is a really beautiful and colorful beach, and it has many things to do there. Don't go, Sandra. <laughs> okay, we're waiting for more examples. Remember to stay two positive things and one negative. To stay the negative, you will use however, or but, or though. Okay, we have one about Chalatenango. It's really beautiful, but it's very, it's very far from the city. Maybe you wanted to say that, Juan Jose. It's very far from the city. Santa Tecla City is very beautiful, but it's too expensive to live there. It's too expensive to live there. And San Miguel is a beautiful city, but it's very hot. That's true. Conchagua City is quiet and beautiful. Conchagua City is beautiful. However, it is cold during the night. Okay, Conchagua is not an expensive city, but it is too far. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, the capital is beautiful. However, it is very noisy. Okay, after however, Andrea, you will use a comma and you have to use the it subject. However, comma, it is or it's very noisy. Don't forget the subject. What examples? Okay, we have one more. It says, I like to go to the beach. However, I can't swim with m swing <laughs> because swing is like when you swing in the hammock you swing in the hammock right or when you go to the park you swing in the swings but the action in the ocean or in the river is swim with m <laughs> okay uh, the weather in San Vicente is hot in the morning, but in the afternoon it gets what it, it gets. Rain. What it wants to rain. Oh, it gets like it's going to rain. Okay. Uh, leave it, Susana. 
Living, Geraldine, living in San Salvador is very noisy, but it is, it is really convenient for many reasons. For job reasons, for example. Very good. Okay, guys, it's almost time to finish, but I want you to do something for tomorrow. Homework, an assignment. Okay, for tomorrow, I want you to write a paragraph about interesting places for tourists to visit in your hometown or in the country, because maybe your hometown doesn't have uh, many places, many interesting places to visit. But um, this is an example. Otavalo is a very interesting town in Ecuador. It's to the north of Quito. It has a fantastic market and a lot of tourists go there to buy handmade art and crafts. The scenery around Otavalo is very pretty and you continue, right? And you can also use the conjunctions to write your paragraph. So this is gonna be the homework, the assignment for tomorrow. We are going to share in the class with your classmates uh, this. Uh, your paragraph about a great place to live. That is the topic, a great place to live. Interesting places for tourists to visit in your hometown. And we have uh, more examples in the chat. USA is a place, it's, it's a very big place and there are many things to do. However, I need my, to go there. Okay, very good. Uh, so guys, can you tell me what did you learn today? in this class. Yes, Milagro? I learned how to use salt and however, I learned that I can, I had to use it um, mainly at the end, but when I am talking, I can use it in the middle of the sentence. Okay. Thank you, Milaido. So we learned about conjunctions, right? However, but, and, though. Okay, which activity do you like most? Well, tell me something. <laughs> Oh, you didn't teacher. like teacher. Okay, <laughs> teacher. Um, uh, I learned uh, about this topic today, uh, at, uh, in this night. Um, uh, but uh, in my person is difficult uh to use because uh it's a little confused when I uh. The, uh, the place that I do uh, to, uh, to put the, the adverbs, okay? Oh. You understand? Okay, the adverbs or the, the conjunctions? Adverbs. The conjunctions and the adverbs. <laughs> uh, uh, today, I, I, it, it was a little uh, confused, but I promise to study more. Uh, okay, the, yes, uh, Anna, don't worry. Yes. I will try to, to bring more exercises tomorrow, more practice and try to do the homework. And also don't forget, but you had more support or more information in the platform. Okay? okay, watch the videos in the platform and do the exercises. Okay, people, I gotta go. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you have a great night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow.